Now here again inside Coines, and I've just measured the floor, which is about four to four meter ten in its longest part. This is this entrance towards this entrance, and it's high, exactly the same. It's also about four meters high, four meter ten, and that is eleven Egyptian raymen, and a raymen is about thirty-seven centimeters. So that would 11 raymond make 4 meters 7. Um, the pendulum, which would be down there, then would have a swing of 11 raymond and could swing over also a distance of 11 raymond. I don't know enough about pendulums to know what the consequence of this is, but I have the idea then that this space was built like it is built to give the possibility for a, a good swing of a pendulum and also of course to um, get as much air inside this space as possible for as many people as possible to breathe in. Now this is also the driest cairn that I've been into here except for Mace Howe but that is artificially uh, aired. Anyway, it, it, the floor itself is, is clay, and here in this recess it is hewn out of the rock a bit, but anyway, it is, uh, di this is not dry, but it is not wet either. It's, yeah, it's clay. <laughs> well, this is one of the trenches towards the, the entrance um, but it is obvious then that with this enormous amount of air and dry air that these were places where you could very well store and even dry your food and I think that's what they did here as well they dried a lot of fish they were catching and uh, it was one of the functions of these chambers and these separate side cells. Now this is the pit and probably they found human bones in here but I think that when you find only one such pit and also in quantum nest there's only one pit maybe with several bones but it that as far as I see it just proves that this was not a burial place because there would have been much more of these pits then and I think many of the things that were interred in, in these chambers were just done by people who who did this clandestinely. I mean, they just dug a hole in the floor somewhere and they put their bones in there and then they left and, and, and who would see it? They, they were very dark places, of course, anyway. The point is that they were considered very auspicious places and that's why they started leaving their bones here in these chambers. This is a view outside. Now this is a, a view through the passage and the sea would have been visible um, but a bit further away probably. I, I was mistaken about this orientation as far as I see it on the map and it's south um, it is east southeast orientation and that would mean that it could be related to a rising moon but I know not enough about that